Hi kids! Today we're doing like a collective haul. I got a couple of things from the 21 Days of Beauty and I got some random things that I've been picking up. So I figured I'd just show you all my new stuff and we'd catch up on my uh, my year to date total. If you haven't been watching my videos, I have been trying to do a use more than I spend. It's not going well. Anyways, we'll we'll do that at the end of the the video. Right now, I just want to talk about the things I got. So, first of all, from the 21 Days of Beauty, I got the Too Faced um, chocolate gold. I always say that backwards. I want to always say gold chocolate. I don't know. Anyways, let's see if we can get... There you go. It's very reflective. Um, it came in a nice box, and the box is just as reflective. The shades in here, most of them... Most of the shades in here are a metallic shimmer. See, even that is like way reflective. This is a matte, this is a matte, this is a matte, this is a matte. And this Living Lavish color right here, this purple color, it is matte-ish enough where you can use it as a matte. I currently on my eyes right now I am wearing So Bougie Chocolate Truffle Living Lavish and Chocolate Gold. This chocolate gold color. I love this color. And then I have um a color out of my Tarte palette uh, Solstice. I really like this color right here. I've been using this as my brow bone like every day. So, back to the new stuff. The one thing, I haven't used all the colors in here yet, but the one thing that I am kind of disappointed in is this new money color here. This pinkish, bright pink color. It does not it does not come across like that on your eyes at all. But I'm loving this palette. Loving it so much. So, and it came in this little box. And it had like one of these little cards telling you about all the different ways you can use it. Chocolate is worth its weight in gold. Oh. So, all these different styles, which I haven't read any of this. So that is the chocolate bar palette, and that was $24.50 on sale. Shipping was $5.95. Tax was $2.02, .02. so that is a total of $32.47. On the next 21 days, of beauty that I ordered from. I'm not including shipping and tax on this because I did get my mom some things on this order as well so and I didn't want to separate anything so we're just going to count what I got. That's some nail files. These are the flowery, yeah flowery, got cat hair on them. Flowery nail files. There's two of them in a pack a dollar 49 for the pack. Next I got an IT Cosmetics brush. This was the powder brush and um, it's IT Cosmetics for Alta and it comes with one of these so you can put it put your brush in there keep it safe when you're traveling or whatever and it came with this little thing saying what to use the brush for. It's a powder brush and I've been wanting one of these brushes, you know, a nice, smooth, heavy powder brush. But I got it, and I've used it, and I'm not real happy about it, and I don't know why. It's shedding a little bit, but that's kind of normal when you first get it. 
when you first get one of these, um, it brushes at Ulta. And I'm just, I don't know why I'm not happy with it. I'm trying to be happy with it. I'm trying to find what it is that I'm not happy about. It's something that I've been wanting for a long time. So I have my current powder brush that I've been using and that one seems to be working out better than that one and it shouldn't. Anyways, um, so we'll work on that and talk about that later. That's another thing I want to do. I want to do a rehaul of some of the things I've been getting, tell you my opinions about them. Okay. This is something I've never tried. It is the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub. I got mine in Marula and Jasmine. I've never tried one of these sh sugar scrubs before. I mean, I've tried scrubs, but I've never tried a Tree Hut one. And I always hear about them all the time in everybody's empties and how much they love them. So I got one. And that was $6.39. So the total was $25.88. Then the other random things I've bought so far were the Dove uh, Purely Pampering Pistachio Cream and Magnolia Shower Gel. I haven't tried this yet. I'm still working on some. Let's see if we can open it. Let's see if we can open it. There we go. Oh, that smells amazing. I really, I can't say that I really love these or anything like that, but I like them. They're good. The Dove line, you know, that was $4. Um, and I got that off of Holler. Next, I got this at Grocery Outlet. Is an Epiel Cucumber Cleansing Tissues. There's 30 in a pack. It was 99 cents. These are very small tissues. I've used these before and they smell very strongly of cucumber, but they work great. I really love the way they work. They may not, they may be small and they may have a very strong fragrance, but they work great. Next, I got the Avon Footworks. Open up the bag. I got these off of Amazon. I got two bottles of the Avon Footworks Maximum Strength Cracked Heel Cream. I love these. I use these all the time. I get them, like, I, I'm never without these. And it was two for $15.95. And the last thing I got off of Amazon was the Mont Blue Set of Three Glass Nail Files. I, it was a set of three for $9.95. I kept two of them and I gave one to my mom. So that would be a total of what I kept was $6.64. I divided it in three. Um, I kept the large one. And the little one for, oh, my purse, little one. Now, I have tried it a little bit to just kind of do the edges of my nails. I just got it yesterday, and I just kind of did the edges of my nails last night before I put a glitter coat over. So I can't really tell you if I like it or not yet, but it feels really nice. Um, they come in these ugly little cases, but I'm not sure how I feel about these yet, so we'll see. So, my total with all the Ulta orders and the random four things that I got was $85.93. So, my previous balance was $110.54 more that I had spent than I had used. So now we have a total of $196.47 bought more than I have used. 
Um, that's still not a bad total. I mean, if you think about it, I shouldn't, in theory, be buying any more nail files. And that was a great eyeshadow palette that I have been wanting for a long time, ever since it came out. So, um, yeah, I'm not upset about any of this. So, I will update you later on how I feel about some of these products that I've been buying. And I will see you next time. Hit like, hit subscribe. Bye!